Hi, this is fifth video on NG Spice. Uh, today we are going to write an NG Spice code for inverting Schmidt trigger. So in this we will see how to use sub circuits. The circuit is shown here. So here the sub circuit we have used is op amp. So how what is the syntax for writing sub circuit? Syntax is given below. Dot sub circuit and name of the sub circuit and port number you have to mention. For example, in this case, I have to write dot sub circuit sub ckt name. I can give any name. Let let it be mu a seven four one u a seven four one and the nodes. Totally, it has five ports. One, two, three, four, and five. So I have to write like that. One, two, three, four, five. And its description I have to write, and it should end with dot end statement. This description either you have to refer from any internet sources or textbook or manufacturer data sheet. From there you have to refer that. And when you use that sub circuit in the main program, you have to write this code x name. Maybe x1, x2 like that, and n1, n2 dot dot. So here, the th the nodes which you are mentioning, the order is important. So here, n1 is associated with p1, n2 is associated with p2. So how many nodes mentioned? You have mentioned here same number of nodes you have to use here, and sub name whatever sub circuit name you have used you have to give here. So let us write code for that. So we'll come S C H M dot C I R Schmidt trigger. So first one is the comment. So let us write N G spice code. So N G spice code. For Schmidt trigger. Yes. So first device we will write code for sinusoidal source. So that is V in V in. It is in between three and zero. Three and zero. And you write sin. Zero seven one k. That means it is a sinusoidal signal. It starts from zero and peak value is seven, and minus peak value is minus seven, and its frequency is one k. Then second component is resistor. Or we will first define the power supplies. That is VCC. It is in between one and zero. One. And zero and fifteen volt, and V E E negative power supply that is between two and zero. It is minus fifteen. And resistor you have one resistor. It is between five and four. You can see here this R one is between five and four. So we'll write like that five and four and ten k. R two is between four and zero. Four. And zero, and it's five k. Now we will first find its sub circuit model. So let me. So in the Google, if you simply write U A seven four one spice model, you will get many search result. In that, you can pick any. So I have selected the second one. So here it is given ready. You copy. This thing and paste it in the. So what is here? You can see if you define like this in the main program, that is X one one two three four five U J seven four one. The each port, the one, the port number one corresponds to non-inverting terminal. Port number two refers to inverting input. 
port 3 positive power supply, port 4 negative and port 5 is the output. So similar fashion we have to define in the main program. Okay. So since star here written it will be considered as a comments. Okay. It will not be executed. So we don't want this thing. So let it be on the comment. So and here you can see dot end statement also there. After this we can call this subcircuit. So let it be it should start with x, x1 and syntax is given here x1 nodes and subcircuit name. Node we should be careful now. See pin number 1 is a non-inverting input. So in our circuit non-inverting input is 4 actually. So I should write first 4. Second one inverting input. So in our circuit inverting input is terminal 3. So I will write 3. And 3 is positive power supply. Pin number 3 is positive power supply. So but here the 1 is the positive power supply. So I will write 1 and 4 is the negative power supply. Here negative power supply belongs to 2. So I will write 2. Finally output terminal is 5. And you have to write the name of the circuit. So that is U capital A741. That completes this code. Then we will write dot and C. So you can just see how we have written. First one is the power supply that is sinusoidal 30 sin 071k. Then power positive power supply, negative power supply, then two resistor, and once again this we have to make it as comment. So then we can then we will put the subcircuit model it is taken from the net. So you can see here this is dot subcircuit this is important dot subcircuit UA741 and terminal. So in that terminal how this code is written assuming this node is the non-inverting and this is inverting 3 is the positive 4 is the negative 5 is the output. So like this is all number refers to. So and dot end statement is also there. Then we have to call this subcircuit. So it should start with x. So we have written x143125. So this numbering is important. Num order is important. So dot and c. Now okay. so we will use ngspice command. Oh, here uh, it's telling one misplaced command dot and see that means in the code let me go there and you can see here what I have written dot and see it should be dot end so that is the command let me correct it now again run ng space code now you can see it has loaded without any warning so this is a first line now we will perform a transient analysis. So we will write tran step size 0 0.1 because 1 kilohertz is the frequency. So step size let it be 0 0.1 millisecond and we will run for 2 millisecond. And we will plot both input and output. So V of 3 is the input and V of 5 is the output. So what, what should be the output? It is input is sinusoidal, output will be a square wave, but it's an inverting Schmidt trigger. You can see here the red color is the input. So whenever it exceeds upper threshold voltage, your output will be minus maximum, minus Vsat. Whenever it crosses the uh, LTP, the output will be plus Vsat. So we will get a square wave. So like this we can analyze or we can use a subcircuit in ng space thank you